a story about Nottingham Court. Okay. Yeah, we've got time. No, we've got plenty of time. Um, Focusing well, in on you Apparently, what Nottingham happened Court, was that uh, Adrian told me about it. It's Robin's his um, apron. Yes. He's <laughs> been painting this thing black. Yeah. That's gloss black. Gloss black. Yeah. It's going to shine it's out like a. Not abstract art. It's like house painting jet. But he's dressed in these abstract this, this, this art. Is, yeah. <laughs> these are the remnants of paintings done over the last. Oh, I can months. see all the colours in there. Yeah. <laughs> I can see the blue. Yeah. Oh yeah, the blue definitely. Yeah. Blue there blue was a blue period, wasn't there? Yeah, yeah. The orange oh, section yeah. there. Oh, orange, yeah, and yellow. Oh, and no, apparently there was this um, yeah. Loudon, a rural dean or something. Oh, Lopping Hall. At Lopping Hall. Okay, Lopping Hall. And um, apparently, what he was doing was he, was he seemed to be making quite a lot of money. And yeah. Doing very well for himself. And then it actually transpired that what he was actually doing was he was passing off parts of the forest land that belonged to the crown. Oh yeah. And selling them off to people for buildings. It's not right, is it? And it's not right. No. And, and so there was a when bit was of this? uproar. Oh, this was in the eighth, middle 19th century. Right, because there was yeah. a riot oh, about yes. Epping Forest. Oh, yes. Um, everyone said no, no further. Don't yep. k- keep on parceling it off. Is this, well, this the, is, is this this the is guy? Part of it. I've this read about it in the history yeah. of Epping Forest. Right, okay. Yeah, it's about him. He was so the bad actually, guy, wasn't yeah. he, actually? Yeah. So the peasants rose up yeah. against him, yeah. and, and that was the riot. It was a bit of people power. Yes, it, it was, was a great. And as a result, we can go walking in our woods. Well, one of the reasons that they were getting a little bit upset about it was one of the bits that he was passing off mm. uh, what, what it was where they would actually lop, where they would um, lop trees right. to make their fence posts and, yep. and their fencing and everything else. And so they found out then that their parts of their land were actually being privatised illegally. Hey. And so they I'm rose about up lopping all. Do, you, right. do you know this story? Yeah. yeah. And so oh, it was... Pretty I don't good know story. It, I don't you can watch the film later. Okay. Right. <laughs> I don't know whether it was the, the Bishop of London or, or something to do with the church or, yeah. or the, the owners of the, the forest at that particular point agreed with the peasants. And what yeah. they would do is they would put a stop to this man selling off his land, yeah. return the land to the forest. But... Yeah. This was the, this was a bit the compromise that they actually had to make. Was they had to um, release their lopping rights because they had lopping rights in the forest because it was common land. Who, uh, the peasants. The peasants. Mm. And so what was it? What was given to them in exchange for these rights was lopping hall. Okay. So it's a people's hall. palace now. It's a people's it? palace, right? Yes, and, and that's how they they got to own it. Excellent. And it was going to be sort of like a WEA and sort of right. hall yeah. meetings and everything else. Yeah. And so they, they did it. Okay. There you are. There we are. But that's Rob explaining about Lopping Hall, which is where Alison's exhibition is going to happen. Yeah, right. So now we're now going into the place where all this art happens via a being painted uh, balustrade uh, <laughs> through what might have been a garage in any ordinary house, but it's become a workshop. And then we go through a door. And now we're in the inner sanctum where Alison's art gets created. We've got some delightful music playing. Uh, the, the trees here, which are probably not part of the exhibition, but um, they're always there. Oh, they are. I've been just tapped on my shoulder and nodded at to explain that they are going to be part of the exhibition. So that's good. Do they have names? Not as such. <laughs> Can we get in there? Anyway, there's one tree looking very super real, I think. It's the kind of style that Alison's got with her tree, super real. Then we've got sunshine on this one. And then a, uh, a real knot, a real knotted tree. You'd think there's been lightning possibly involved here in the past. These little ones, are these in the exhibition? Okay, so these little ones are also going to be in the exhibition. Little miniature prints here. Are these pictures, are these photos that have been painted over? What, what's the technique for this? Prints. Prints. Ah, right. So, Alison will have taken a photo of a tree, taken it back, a photo of a painting of a tree, then the sky is watercolour added and you leave the tree bit alone because the tree looks very real and precise and then it's very sort of moody sky behind it. Excellent. Here we go. We're going on some more. Oh yes, no, I do like this, this pair. So here we can see the technique here. We start, come back. Here we have the original painting which will have been done from a 
photo and from real life from real com life. combination. Oh, Sorry. not all from real life, because yeah, you take you come you do it in this studio, yeah. painted up in the studio. The the tree itself is within a mile or two of here. Yeah, so the, the tree is in Epping Forest. Here's Epping Forest out the studio. I'm going to zoom out. How close the forest is. That's the edge of the forest there. Yeah, so these life points come from life in the forest. The paper is taken out there into the woods. Is it pencil you use for the whole it's, it's a pencil. Would you just use one string to pencil um, for the whole? I tend to use three on each and then go in to B. Okay. So maybe a slight touch of four B. Okay. So these are kind of soft, softer. Yeah, they you know, bring the, the edges, they bring the edges, the edges, the edges. Yeah, the this details. would be the. Then we go on to the next one, right? Okay, okay, so here's one that would be more done with the harder pencils. Keep nice and sharp. Yeah. Yeah. Sharp than we do yeah. in the woods. Yeah. yeah. We're going to take sharpener in a second. There we go. There's some tools of the trade there. Is it a dead bush? This one's ivory. The up one, the top. Um, I think I'm just looking at an ivory because I like the shape. Yeah. I'm interested in the ivory. Good. And then next to those animals, we have this crazy skull. So a bit of cardboard. Yeah. If you sort of painted on the rough side, that side, then. Yeah. Mm. It is. It's a nice soft look.